Hello, hello. This is the Awful and Awesome Entertainment Wrap, episode 340. This is Rajeshri Sen. And this is Abhinandan Sekri, coming to you after a gap of several weeks. But I have come today having watched a film that everyone in office trying to convince me to watch for the longest time and finally I succumbed. And I will be reviewing that as shall you, <clears throat> because that's all I've watched. But what film it is, I will just tell you. After I've made a very important announcement. The announcement is that News Laundry has turned 12 on the 7th of Feb. So it is a happy birthday. Pring, 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 pring. So it'd be great if on this 12th birthday of News Laundry, you can convince someone you know to subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, thank you. If you're not, you can subscribe. And if you are, you can convince one more person. Because going forward, we would like to grow spectacularly because legacy media, we keep thinking it can't get worse, but it does. And the only reason for that is it is dependent on corporate and government ads. So we have to get media off the advertising model. And that is my birthday greeting to you. 12th birthday news laundry greeting. Rajshri Sen. <clears throat> what all are we going to be talking about? We are going to be talking about the classic film that you and I have both watched. After you and I was asked to watch it many times. And it is... Animal. Animal. What do we think about it? What would you think the reaction would be? What would you think that we think about it? And did we want to think about it is the critical question. Mm. Then we will be talking about one of my favorite songs, which I'm sure is one of your favorite songs mm. also, and I wish you'd watched it, which is The Greatest Night in Pop, which is a behind-the-scenes look at um, We Are, we the, are world. the World. How they brought together all these musicians and uh, then there's Griselda, which I watched, which is like a female version and a shorter version of Narcos about Griselda Blanco. Mm. And the show Expats, which only three episodes are out with Nicole Kidman. But why do we have so many things? So we should only do two long form, no? Isn't that what we had? So two is long, it? three it How? is. Two and a half. Because uh, Greatest Night in Pop is only one now. But the other two are the two series, one film, one... No, anyway. Expats is only three Doesn't episodes. Matter. But That's because still it's long very important what has happened to Expats. Something right. important has happened. Animal. It was one of my favorite songs. Oh, see, I, I want to run, live like an animal, careless okay. and free. I like remember the video an also. Animal. I want to run through the forest, the wind in my head, and there's something in my feet. I want to live. This like... is almost the same time as Tracy Chapman's Fast Car had come out. Right. Which Tracy Chapman performed at the Grammys and it was excellent. Absolutely. I googled animal song hoping that this, that one I got Arjun Valley. <laughs> yeah, there, this animal is. song English I'll have to google. English? That so also you'll that get was, some I remember it used to be uh, uh, Fine it Young. Was our, it's not Maroon 5. It was no, no, the 90s, it's not man. Maroon 5. It's a, it's, uh, even they've sung a song yeah, called Animal. Everyone has sung. Oh, I see. Okay. But speaking of Animal, which is directed by Sandeep Reddy Manga, who mm. also made Kabir Singh, who also made Arjun Reddy. And uh, this film that he's made stars Ranbir Kapoor, Anil Kapoor, uh, Bobby Deol, Rashmika Mandana, Tripti Dimri, uh, Suresh Oberoi, Pran? No, Prem Chopra. Prem Pran Chopra. is long dead. <laughs> Prem Chopra. <laughs> Sorry. Prem Chopra. And there were some other people also. So I'll give a Prem Chopra story though. Priyam Chopra was on a flight with a friend of mine when she was, when we were 20 and she just was sweet and friendly. So she said, oh, will you please, you're my uh, favorite actor. Will you please give me uh, an autograph? I don't know why she said that, why she wanted Priyam Chopra. So he said, you name five films, I mean. Now, I could not bring myself to watch it in the theater because I'm not a loser, right? So, I watched it on Netflix, which Manisha very kindly told me on 26th January, what should, could be better than Netflix showing Animal. Why it's related to 26th January, God only knows. But there had been a lot of criticism. Uh, so, I'm part of this uh, group on Facebook called the Reviewer Collective, which has all these directors and all are also part of it. So, you have to be very careful when you're trashing someone's thing, which I try not to do anyway, but means in writing at least, because that director, oh, thank you for your feedback and all. And you feel very bad. People have worked hard on their films, even if they are shitty films. So, on that thing, so many people have written, 
I don't understand why people are criticizing it. It's such a wonderful film about a father-son relationship, all that nonsense. So it's worrying that people think this. But Ranbir Kapoor is playing a boy in Delhi, right? They're in Delhi. It's a Delhi home. We that don't know. In, I think so. So yeah, he's a businessman's uh, son. His father is very hardworking and seems to be as upright as you can be in business. But uh, he spends very little time with the family. And Ranbir Kapoor has two sisters who he really loves. His mother uh, spoils him greatly. And um, he's a little obsessive in a weird, manic way about his father and getting his father's attention. And once he hears that his sister uh, was ragged by people, so he goes, okay, Bobby Dior, this praise, now this is not, I am going against what the praise, uh, praise of this film, that Bobby Dior's come back and all, the cleverest move that Sandeep Reddy Vanga. He didn't give him any dialogue. He didn't give him any dialogue. Obviously, Bobby is very good in this. So he's looking intense and he's got this big beard which needs to be trimmed. And his body is not great, first of all. What is this thing that his body is looking fabulous? For a 54-year-old, I guess. I don't know. Look I mean, at Brad Pitt's body. Look at Shah Rukh Khan's 60. body. Yeah. yeah. Please. Look at Anil Kapoor's body. He's what, 75? No. Let's not get Chalab Kuchbi. Kuchbi fail though. Look at Prem Chopra's body. Look at, look look at, at Suresh Chopra's body. At Shah Rukh Khan's body. Look at. But, but uh, the film in total is a rubbish film. There is no sense to the story. What is this story? One useless boy grows up, becomes a very violent man. Nowhere in the world, including in Pablo Escobar's time, could you take an AK-47 or a machine gun and all and just riddle a hotel with bullets and the cops will not come to? Well, I maybe not in India. I mean, I would not, in Pablo Escobar's time, he famously took two tanks into the square in uh, Bogota and blew up the Supreme Court. But well, this Escobar too is this. not The only reason Escobar. Escobar was killed was because America intervened. No, there was no institution left in Colombia that, that he could had take not. Huh? He, like he actually, it's like he took two tanks and blew up the Supreme Court. You understand? So, yeah. I'm, Don't poke holes in I'm my criticism. That, okay. It's just that. But I'm just saying. Anyway, this is not. He's not Pablo Escobar. He does no constructive work. He also gets shot, riddled with bullets. So that scene is, I have to say, I like that. All those men with those masks and that mm. shooting scene. And he's wearing a veshti or a dhoti and he's shooting everyone. And all. Very cool. Nicely done and all. Makes zero sense. It in total left me like... <laughs> First of all, this is not a film. It is a cry for help. I usually like to review a film and not the filmmaker. Hmm. I make because then it just becomes nasty and there's no reason for that hmm. you know, because very good people can make terrible films and terrible people can make very good films so let's review the film yeah. Correct. but here it is a little different because A, this film has become such a point of conversation which has also led to some interviews of Mr. Vanga that I have seen hmm. and because I am an expert at Deconstructing psychology. the psychology of men. You know that. Correct, correct. I often boast, you say, what is your core skill? I said, my core skill is not used in my business. My core skill, give me two minutes of the man, only men. I, I can't figure out any other gender. But give me two minutes of the man, I can tell you everything about him. His insecurities, his strengths, his pursuits, his motivations, etc. Et it comes from survival instincts of 12 years in all boys boardings. Like Ranbir Kapoor did. Yeah. This. So, this is not a film. It's a cry for help of a guy who has some major issues and I'm not kidding. Mr. Vanga. Yeah. Uh, so, here's my, it's, it's catharsis. This is catharsis uh, of a, this is, this is my, my, this thing is that he, as a boy, he wanted to be a part of the cool gang or the main dangerous gang and all of whatever he was. Maybe he's popular. No, he maybe he is, but maybe he was popular with the nerd gang or maybe he was popular ah, with the. Okay. But he wanted to be a part of the. And my guess is that gang was Punjabis and Sardars. 
so he <laughs> said can i also be part of your gang they said no mr reddy you cannot be ha huh. No, Mr. Reddy, you bring idli tomorrow. Huh? Tell mommy. Don't be oh, tell don't idli. Don't be stupid. You eat a, <laughs> you eat a rasgulla. You eat mishti doi. You eat mishti doi. Tell mama to give gunpowder. You bring gunpowder. Then he fell back. And then they just chal de pan to do slaps this, and they sang a song in Punjabi song. <laughs> and Which he did not off. understand. So he said, "I will be Punjabi." No, fuck. He said, "I will fucking grow up <laughs> and have my." Own Punjabi gang, but he never grew up, huh. so he got sick of fucking waiting. So he says, "Fuck it, I can't wait to grow up and have my own Punjabi gang. I will, as an adolescent, make a film, and in that there'll be a Punjabi gang, like and that. that'll be my Punjabi gang. So th- it is basically that whole thing that he said, I will do that, and that, and then he went and made this film. Now, but because you know he made this for whatever." Um, to be the richest man in the country you have to have more than one steel mill <laughs> basically what anil kapoor was doing i think it's very good would, cool. would maybe make him the richest man if at all in saharanpur maybe not even that no to be the richest man in the country you have to have you know at least 70% of the ports in the country hopefully assigned to you you should also have friend who is a prime minister yeah to be the richest man in the country it would be great if you have interests in energy and oil and oil prices kind of set by government help you out you know to be the rich man in the country your one steel plant people have gone on strike and where 80 people are standing would not even through. fucking tickle your ass <laughs> dude hindenburg can do a report and your check and tank and you'll still come up if you're the richest man in the country but so he's like anil ambani he's anil ambani <laughs> kind of businessman that who has the edk is again so the richest man in the country has a steel plant <laughs> With eighty people working, eighty mill workers. Okay, there. then in the end, what happened? But uh, yeah, so uh, I'd love to ready, Mister. I'd love to ready, Mister Wanga. I'd love to interview Mister Reddy. Now uh, after this, he's not going to give an interview. He's a brave man. He's an alpha. I think he'll be scared But of fucking fifty-five you know, kilo weakling him. like me. He yeah. fucking look at me. I'd shit bricks and I'd run away. Yeah. So Mister Wanga, I'd love to interview you. Please give me a chance, and you can show your chops. I think he'll give an interview. Actually, yeah? speaking. Chalo, great. done so that will be a special episode truly but for a little bit more on griselda and the expats and so on you have to log on to which i was streaming site you listen to us on and or on to the website also there been an interview of bhumi pednekar done by a very own crack journalist basant kumar uh, and that is because she has just done a film where she plays a reporter So that should be interesting to check that out. So we'll see you on the other side now. Hum aisa samaj hote ja rahe hain jahan pe hame sirf ha ha hi hi khi khi khu khu wali cheeze sunni hai hame kisi ki kisi ke jeevan ki asliyat janne mein interest hi nahi hai. Kyun kyunki usse hum uncomfortable honge aur hum uncomfortable hona nahi chahte. Kya aap apne saath ji payenge ye jante hue ki aap us society ka hissa hain jahan pe choti bachcho ke saath anyay ho raha hai aur agar aap ye information jante hue ji pa rahe hain to aap shunya ho chuke hain sachchi ghatna pe aadharit is film mein bhumi pandekar ek journalist ki bhumika nibha rahi hain aaj hum unse baat karenge film ke bhi bare mein baat karenge aur journalism ke bhi bare mein to mujhe mere liye एक जर्नलिस्ट प्ले करना बहुत ही ज़्यादा रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी के साथ आया था क्योंकि इस कोर्स में मुझे रियलाइज हुआ कि मीडिया का की पावर क्या होती है सो फिल्म बेसिकली चाइल्ड अब्यूज पे है जो सेक्सुअल ऑफेंसेस बच्चों पे होते हैं उस पे है लेकिन अगर आप मोटा मोटा देखें अखबार में रोज़ आप किसी सेक्शुअल ऑफेंस ऑन किसी औरत पे या किसी बच्चे पे या कोई भी मार्जनाइज अभी तो जेंडर के अवे भी चला गया है ये कॉन्वर्जेशन और ये इतनी रोज़मर्रा की खबर हो गई है तो मेरे लिए इसलिए ये फिल्म करना कहीं ना कहीं बहुत ज़रूरी था क्योंकि मुझे लग रहा था कि एज ए सोसाइटी वेर आर वी हेडिंग एज ए जर्नलिस्ट हमें कहा जाता है या ट्रेनिंग का पार्ट होता है कि इमोशनल नहीं होना है खबर करते हुए मैं आपको देखता हूँ आप फिल्म में कई जगह आप रोती भी हैं कि इतना कुछ हो रहा है आप सुन क्यों नहीं रहे ये सब पता है मुझे क्या लगता है मुझे लगता है कुछ चीजें ऐसी होती है जो आपके प्रोफेशन के से डीपर आपको टच करती हैं 
वो जो लाइन है ट्रेलर में क्या दूसरों के दर्द में दुखी होना भूल गए हैं क्या ये मेरे साथ स्क्रिप्ट में रह गया था क्योंकि सर ये हमारा कल्चर नहीं है हमारा वो कल्चर है कि हमने हमेशा हमारे बगल वाले घर में क्या हो रहा है हमने हमेशा मदद करने की कोशिश की है लेकिन अब हम इतने डिसकनेक्ट हो चुके हैं बेसिक ह्यूमन इमोशन से जिस तरह की लेगेसी ऑफ फिल्में मैं छोड़ के जाना चाहती हूँ वो ऐसी फिल्में हो कि आगे वाले जेनरेशन कि वो जेनरेशन बाय जेनरेशन देखी जा सके और क्योंकि मैं जेनवन नहीं चाहती हूँ कि मेरा नाम हमेशा रहे और मेरे जाने के बाद भी रहे और वो ऐसी फिल्में हो कि लोग देखकर समझे कि वो पॉप कल्चर का हिस्सा क्यों बनी वो फिल्में क्योंकि वो रेलिवेंट थी उनमें इम्पैक्ट था और मेरा आर्ट जरिया है जिससे मैं सोल्यूशन का हिस्सा बनूँ ना प्रॉब्लम का Journalism at News Laundry is powered by the public because when the public pays the public is served. Visit newslaundry.com/subscription and pick a payment plan of your choice. Pay to keep news free and independent. Your future and indeed the future of democracy depends on it.